Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Top 10 Biggest Animals That Ever Roamed the Earth Today, the Earth is home to the largest animal that has ever lived, the blue whale. In fact, paleontologists believe that no other animal weighed as much as this mammoth of a mammal. Okay, so the large dinosaurs tend to grab more than their fair share of attention, but there have been many other giant animals that we will never get to see in the flesh, but are truly terrifying. Some are so supersized and weird that it's hard to believe they even existed. Let's look at 10 behemoths from the past that would truly scare you straight. Number 10. Agarochesis benmule What would the offspring of a whale and a lobster look like? If such a thing were possible, it might look like something like the Agarochesis benmule. Reaching 2 meters long, it lived around 480 million years ago and belonged to an extinct family of marine animals called the Anomalocaridids. The alien-looking creature had net-like sieves attached to appendages on its head that it used to filter plankton from seawater to eat. It lived at a time when plankton were becoming more diverse, allowing it to take up a different lifestyle to most anomalocaridids, which were sharp-toothed predators. This strange creature could help reveal how the limbs of arthropods, that's modern spiders, insects, and crustaceans, evolved. Based on earlier, less complete remains, anomalocaridids were thought to have just one pair of swimming flaps per body segment. However, Ben Mule clearly had two pairs per segment. In a paper published in Nature in March 2015, researchers showed that Ben Mule's twin flaps correspond to the upper and lower segments of modern arthropod limbs. They re-examined other anomalocaridid fossils and found that they too had twin pairs of flaps. They concluded that in some species, evolutionary pressures caused the flaps to fuse. This suggests anomalocaridids were early arthropods. This has long been in question thanks to their bizarre bodies. Until 1985, paleontologists thought that their spiny head appendages were the bodies of shrimps, their toothed mouths were jellyfish, and their bodies sea cucumbers. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works! Number 9. Jacolopterus renine. Jacolopterus renine is an arachnophobe's ultimate nightmare. At two and a half meters long, this giant sea scorpion has a claim to the title of largest arthropod to have ever lived. Its common name is misleading. They weren't true scorpions and probably scuttled in lakes and rivers rather than the ocean. J. Renine lived about 390 million years ago and spent its time chopping up fish. It was described in 2008 after a spiked claw measuring 46 centimeters was found in a quarry in Prom, Germany. This was all that remained of the animal. However, the ratio between claw and body size is pretty consistent in sea scorpions, so researchers were able to estimate that J. Renine was 233 to 259 centimeters long. The discovery is another piece of evidence that arthropods were significantly larger in the past. No one's sure why prehistoric creepy crawlies were supersized. Some suggest the answer lies in the atmosphere, which at times contained more oxygen than it does now. Others highlight a lack of backboned predators such as fish. Number 8. Arthropleura Also in contention for the largest arthropod in history were the Arthropleura, a genus of millipedes up to 2.6 meters long. They lived between 340 and 280 million years ago and may also have benefited from higher levels of oxygen in the air. No one has discovered a complete fossil. Parcel remains up to 3 feet long were uncovered in southwest Germany and footprints attributed to them have been found in Scotland, the US, and Canada. It seems Arthropleura bodies were made of up to around 30 jointed segments covered by side plates and a central plate. Because the remains of Arthropleura mouths have never been found, it's difficult to say for sure what they ate. Researchers who have examined their fossilized excrement have found fern spores, suggesting they fed on plants. 
Arthropleura has proved popular with filmmakers, featuring in the BBC's Walking with Monsters in 2005 and First Life in 2010. Number 7. Meganora Giant arthropods were first linked to the higher atmospheric oxygen levels in 1880, following the discovery of the first Meganora fossil in France. These dragonfly-like creatures buzzed about, feeding on amphibians and other insects around 300 million years ago. With huge wingspans of up to 65 centimeters, they were among the largest flying insects ever. Strictly speaking, Meganora was griffin flies, because their bodies were subtly different from those of dragonflies. Insect body sizes are limited by the way they carry oxygen from the air to their internal organs. They don't have lungs, and instead use a system of tracheal tubes. During the Carboniferous period, from 359 to 299 million years ago, as much as 35% of the air was oxygen. This may have allowed Meganora to extract more energy from the same quantity of air, and thus allowing them to keep flying even when they were huge. This theory could explain why they did not survive into later periods when oxygen levels fell. Number 6. Sarcosuchus Imperador It's not just insects that have downsized over the years. Paleontologists on a dinosaur hunt in Niger in 1997 were amazed to encounter fossilized crocodile jawbones as long as a human being. They stumbled upon the most complete specimen to date of Sarcosuchus Imperador, a prehistoric giant that hunted in the broad rivers of tropical northern Africa 110 million years ago. Also known as Super Croc, it grew as long as 12 meters and weighed about 8 tons. That's twice as long and four times as heavy as the largest of today's crocodiles. It probably ate small dinosaurs as well as fish. It had a narrow jaw 1.8 meters long, containing more than 100 teeth, plus vertically tilting eye sockets and a large bony protrusion on the tip of its snout. It would have resembled the critically endangered gharials of modern India and Nepal. Despite its nickname, Sarcosuchus imperator wasn't a direct ancestor of the 23 species of modern crocodilians. It belonged to an extinct reptilian family called the Pholidosaurs. Other similarly huge crocs have been found, notably those in the extinct genus Dinosuchus. These were related to the modern alligator and may have reached 10 meters in length. Crocodiles were able to grow so big because they lived mainly in water, so they can float and carry more weight than would be possible on land. They also have strong skulls that give them powerful bites, so they can take on a wide array of big prey. Number 5. Metaposaurus It wasn't just crocodiles that prehistoric fish had to fear. Earth was also once home to giant carnivorous amphibians that looked like huge salamanders. Fossils of Metaposaurus have been found in Germany, Poland, North America, Africa, and India. Most of the species were wiped out during a mass extinction 201 million years ago. This event wiped out many backboned animals, including large amphibians, and left the field open for dinosaurs to become dominant. The newest species was described in March 2015 by Stefan Grusat of the University of Edinburgh in the UK and his colleagues. They named it M. algervensis, after the region of Portugal where it was found. It was 2 meter, 6 feet 6 inches long, and had a broad flat head that had been likened to a toilet seat. Albeit one containing hundreds of teeth, its small weak limbs suggest it spent little time on land. It was an ancestor of modern amphibians like frogs and newts. Despite appearances, it was only distantly related to today's salamanders. Number 4. Megatherium What would an elephant-sized hamster crossed with a bear look like? Pretty odd and perhaps a bit like Megatherium. This genus included the largest of the giant ground sloths, which lived mostly in South America from 5 million to 11,000 years ago. While not quite as big as dinosaurs or woolly mammoths, these impressive beasts were still among the biggest land animals. They were up to 20 feet long. They were part of a group that includes modern tree sloths, armadillos, and anteaters. Megatherium had extremely robust skeletons. 
They were apparently built for strength and stability, but not speed. However, it's been suggested that Megatherium americanum ate meat. The shapes of their elbow bones suggest they could move their arms rapidly, which might have allowed them to swipe at prey. Number 3. Terror Birds In recent years, scientists have been trying to use gene-editing tools to resurrect extinct species, including the Pyrenean Ibex, Tasmanian Tiger, Passenger Pigeon, and even Woolly Mammoths. We'd better hope they never get their hands on any terror bird DNA. More formerly known as forest racids, these were a group of flightless birds up to 3 meters tall. They could run at 50 kilometers per hour and swallow a medium-sized dog in one gulp. Their height and long necks would have given them a long reach and helped them spot prey from a distance, while their long, powerful legs provided speed and acceleration. Terror birds' beaks curve downwards, allowing them to rip flesh, much like the modern birds of prey, such as eagles. Most forest racid fossils have been found in South America, where they lived between about 60 and 2 million years ago. Some remains have also been found in North America. It was once claimed that they survived until 10,000 years ago, based on finds in Florida, but it turned out that these fossils were much older than first thought. Their closest living relatives are believed to be South America's Seriemas. These only grow to be about 80 centimeters tall. And we've now come to the best pick of the day. To this date, Titanoboa is considered the largest snake in fossil records. At 40 feet, the snake was large enough to probably stretch upwards and be at the same height as a commercial plane on the ground. Number 2. Megalodon Sharks You may have heard reports that there are massive sharks prowling the oceans, three times as long as a great white and 30 times as heavy. Well, you can relax, they're long since extinct. They were called Megalodon, and no one is quite sure how big they actually were. Like all sharks, its skeleton was made of cartilage rather than bone, and so they did not fossilize well. As a result, we only have teeth and a few bits and pieces of vertebrae to go off of. Recent estimates put it at 16 to 20 meters long. That is significantly better than the largest fish alive today, whale sharks, which only reach 12.6 meters. Megalodon's giant jaws contained over 200 serrated teeth, each up to 18 centimeters long. It could bite with a force of 11 to 18 tons, four to six times of that of a Tyrannosaurus rex. The idea that Megalodon is still around was presented in the 2013 mock documentary Megalodon The Monster Shark Lives, broadcasted on the Discovery Channel. The program was widely derided for including footage of actors pretending to be scientists and fake video footage. Real scientists believe Megalodon lived from 15.9 to 2.6 million years ago. Afterward, huge whales took their place as the largest animals in the ocean, according to a 2014 study. Number 1. Titanoboa serigenensis Around 60 million years ago, shortly after the demise of the dinosaurs, a snake evolved that was twice as long as the biggest modern snake. Titanoboa was 14.6 meters long and weighed in at more than a ton. It was described in 2009 after fossilized vertebrae and skulls were found in a coal mine in Colombia. Believed to be a distant relative of the anaconda and boa constrictor, Titanoboa crushed its prey to death. Its victims may have included crocodiles. Snakes rely on external heat to survive as they cannot regulate their own body temperature. Titanoboa may have only reached its great size because Earth as a whole was warmer when it evolved. A life-size replica of the slippery monster was put on display at the Smithsonian Institution National Museum of Natural History in Washington, D.C. three years ago. But with that being said, we've come to the end of this video. So which one of these extinct giants impressed you the most? Let us know in the comments section down below. Want more videos that'll exist until the end of time? Click on any of the videos that you see on the screen. As always, thanks for watching.